Watch yourself. Please, spare anything you can to help a man buy some food today. Have pity on a poor man. Some coins for me to buy food today? Look at us. I don't have any silver or gold, but I will give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He is using Jesus' name and calling for a miracle.
trying to get free. That must have been bad. There, but the thread only pulled tighter and tighter around his feet. That had to be awful. The boy ran to get his mother. His mother put on work gloves. She came and got some scissors, holding the bird carefully in one hand. She cut the thread here and there. At last, the bird's feet were free. It hopped across the yard and then flew away. It was free because the boy and his mother had been kind. Kindness is being kindness is being interested in what's good for someone else. Peter and John were kind. The boy and his mother were kind. How can we how can we be kind? How can you be kind? Let's finish seeing what else this it says how can we be kind? I know of acts of kindness. Um, remember last time in our video we talked about kindness and I said, well, maybe this week we could find how to do an act of kindness, um, washing dishes or clearing the table or helping carry a laundry basket or something like that for your, one of your parents or even brother or sister. That's an act of kindness. And that's a good thing. That's goodness. Caring about what somebody else feels and how somebody else thinks about you is a, that's a good thing because it's showing you Christ-like, showing you, showing them. I'm sorry, Miss Dana. <laughs> it's showing the character of God. By you showing acts of kindness, you're showing Christ. You're showing Jesus in you to them. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story of the man being healed and the goodness and the kindness of Peter and John. Um, they didn't have any money to give him, but you know what? The acts of the acts of kindness and them showing him Jesus. They directed him to Jesus. And that's what, boys and girls, that's what we have to do. That's what we need to do is every day we have to show others Jesus. We have to show them the love, the joy, the patience, the kindness, and goodness of God. And we have to we have to practice those things. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. You remember Galatians 5, 22 and 23. There's a few more of them. We'll get to them too. So, listen. Don't forget to watch Sunday. Sunday is very, very special. Sunday Sunday is Easter Sunday and we have we have bags, Easter bags for each of one of you. If you'll come by the church and pick them up between twelve and three on Wednesday. Mr. Darrell is behind the behind the camera and he's telling me not to forget. That's what's going on because I'm looking at him. So, and he's telling me things. So, so I don't forget, because you know Miss Dana always forgets something. I can't remember half the time. So, but I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed watching all the praise and worship. And hopefully, maybe we can get these guys here to talk it before too long. Maybe so, and I sure miss you. Miss Dana misses you. Mr. Darrell misses you. Miss Cassandra, we miss Miss Cassandra, and 
Mr. Terry, we miss all of the, the key, all of you kids, Miss Lee, Mr. Randy, Casey, we all love and miss y'all so, so very much. Um, hopefully, we'll be back soon, and we'll be up here, and we'll be worshiping, and practicing our songs, and having some fun, and some games, and learning about the Lord. Don't forget, don't forget your revived Bibles. Open your Bible, go to Galatians 5, 22 through 23, and read the fruits of the Spirit. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to be kind and practice the fruits of the Spirit. And if you have a prayer request or if you have a need, I want you to get Mom or Dad to text Miss Dana. Call me, message me. Um, I love you. Mr. Darrell loves you. We all love you. Um, and any of you that is sick and might not be feeling good or anybody, you know anybody, um, we're just going to pray and we're going to ask God to touch them and heal them. You know, just like Jesus touched and healed the, the man that couldn't walk, the crippled man, God can touch us and he can heal us. There's nothing too big and too great for God. So, let's pray. Father God, I ask you, Lord, if there be one person, God, that's sick, that's not feeling well, Lord, that has any kind of sickness in their body, I ask you, God, to touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I pray for divine healing. I pray supernatural healing, God. By the blood of Jesus. God for healing, Lord, over each and every part of their body, over their mind, their spirit, God. I pray, God, that you draw them closer ever to you. And if they be one, Lord, that's not right with you, God, that don't know you, God, draw them ever closer to you. Give them words to, to speak, Lord, to their parents, their mamas, their daddies, let them tell others about you. Let them remember your word, write it on the tablets of their heart, God. And let them not forget your word, Lord. Help them, God, with every battle and every struggle that they have, God. Even to, the, even to their parents, God, help them, God. God, you know, Father, all the things that's going on and what's happening in this world, Lord. Give the parents the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of what to say to their kids, Lord. And how, Lord God, they're going to do the things that they need to do. Lord. Give them the strength and the peace that they need, God, to walk through this season. God, until we all come and meet together again, Lord. Lord, just strengthen each and every home, every family, Lord. I thank you, Father, for each family, each child. God, just raise them up to do great and mighty things for you. God, I just love you and I praise you and I thank you. Thank you, God. Because, God, we can't do none of this without you. God, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory for everything that we say and that we do for In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, kids, for coming by and watching. I hope and I pray that all is well until Sunday. Hope to, hope to you join us Sunday. Love you. Come on, put them together.